welcome guys so in this video in this video we prove the this similar uh, this famous theorem so theorem uh, let's say a is the uh, n by n matrices and the uh, b is the uh, another n by n matrices okay right so basically uh, we can get two matrix right one is a b one is b a right Okay, so the theorem says that uh, the non-zero, the non-zero eigenvalue, right, of A, B, and B, A. So if you have a non-zero uh, eigenvalue, right, of A, B, and B, A, should be the same. I should say, you should, well, uh, you, you, you will be the same. Okay, uh, so... Right, this is the uh, theorem that uh, people uh, like to use. Especially, this is uh, for a non-square, uh, non-square matrix. Okay. Okay, so we provide a simple proof. So the proof one is, uh, let's say A B zero. Let's say A B B zero zero. And uh, another matrix is zero zero B A. Right, so the first one is that uh, you can check that if I take i minus a, 0 i, will equals to this one, i minus a, 0 i, right? So this tells you that uh, since this one, uh, this one is invertible, so the characteristic polynomial of this matrix and this matrix is the same. Right? So characteristic polynomial a b 0 b 0 is the same as characteristic polynomial 0 0 b b a okay and uh, since there's uh, zero right so their characteristic polynomial can only differ at the and the part of zero right if there's a zero uh, if there's a zero then uh, you can there is a part of if if not then the their non-zero part will be the same right so a B will be same as B A uh, for a non-zero eigenvalue. Okay. Uh, so this pro proof uh, looks a little bit non uh, unna unnatural, right? So let's work out some natural one. Okay. So the natural proof. Okay. So natural proof looks uh, very uh, similar. So let's take, so since A is, what, A is the n by n, n, n by n matrices, right? And the B is the n by n matrices. Okay, so let's take Rn, right? And the maps A, A count is, so A, A count Rn will be Rn, right? Then we could take an Rn map to B and the Rn map to A. Okay. Or, or we see as eigenvalue, right? Because eigenvalue can be a complex number, so we can see Cn goes to Cm, Cn goes to Cm. Okay, so it's also A, B, A. Okay, uh, so let's say uh, we have, so let's say we have a non-zero uh, eigenvalue of B, A. So that means that uh, we have like B, A, B. So V is non-zero, right? This is eigenvector, right? So B A V is basically uh, lambda V, right? So which tell, I mean, if you see our plot, right, this tell you that uh, the plot is basically uh, V, A, A, V, and then you act on B, right? It becomes uh, lambda V, non-zero. Okay, and the next that, uh, Right, so the next thing is that uh, we can uh, act on A, right? So we get the lambda AV. Right, so you see this one, right? So if we, we focus on this, uh, this part. Right, so we see that uh, if we act on BA, right? If we act on BA, uh, sorry, we can AB, uh, let's say, uh, let's see. Uh, so if we okay, so we we, we start from V, right? Uh, we start from A V, and uh, act our uh, A B. 
uh, will be let's say let's see. Mm. Oh, act on AB, right? So act on AB means that B act on first and A, right? So it will be lambda AB. Okay, so you see, uh, it's ob so this is BAV equals to lambda V, right? So this is uh, B, A, V, B, uh, A, right? So this is A lambda V, lambda AB, right? So which tell you that the uh, lambda is also an uh, eigen value of uh, of of uh, a b uh, with eigenvector with eigenvector uh, a b right so since a v is non-zero so this is in the eigenvector so the proof is done okay so the proof basically uh, you just add another a and see this see this part right uh, just write down since a v map to b and map to a become lambda a v so a b a v will become a lambda v right a v is lambda v so lambda a v so this is also answer okay so this proof only use the uh not just not use this similarity right because this similarity is hard to find right but one can actually work out from definition and the proof is this is the same okay now i will see you guys is in the next uh, linear algebra proof and uh, I will see you guys in the uh, next videos.